Hello first grade, welcome to math. My name is Ms. Ramirez and today we will understand how to add and subtract within 10 and we will be using a number line to solve the word problems. So this is a new method y'all are going to be learning to use is a number line and this is important so we know different ways to solve the word problem. So we're going to go ahead and look at some vocabulary words. So our first vocabulary word is adding. So we said that adding is the same as joining. So if we have one strawberry and we add another strawberry, that equals two strawberries. So we are adding. We are joining. Then our second one is subtract. So when we have three dogs and we take away one dog, that is subtracting or separating because we said that subtracting means separating, right? Yes. So we also have another vocabulary word, which is make 10. So we all know how to make 10 frames, correct? Yes. So if we have three blue counters and we add seven red counters, that is the same as if we just separated them. So if we have two red counters here and five are here, if we add them, it still makes seven. And we still have eight blue counters. So they are equal, they are just represented differently. They just look different. And our new method is a number line. So this is counting on or counting forward. So if we start at the number four and we count forward, one, two, three, and we land on the number seven, we can make a equation out of that. So we can make a number sentence. So if we have four, we start on four and we're counting forward, which is addition. And we're counting forward how many times? One, two, three. Three, and what number do we land on? Seven, so four plus three equals seven. And we got all of those numbers just from the number line. How cool is that? And we could also do it for subtraction. So let's see. This vocabulary word is count back. So we start on a number, but instead of counting forward, we count backwards. So we have nine. We put it in our number sentence. And since we're counting backwards, we are subtracting. So we're putting a subtraction sign. And how many times did we count backwards? One, two, three three times and what number did we land on? Six, good job. So we are counting back. So we're going to be practicing on how to use a number line a little bit more today. We're gonna to go back to the slide and we're going to be seeing all the methods we're going to be using today. So on this next slide, here is an addition problem and a subtraction problem. So you can see the four different methods that they use in order to solve that equation. So they can draw a picture, they can draw a 10 frame, they can use linking cubes, or what we just learned, they can count on the number line, number line, excuse me. And the same for subtraction, you can draw a picture, use a 10 frame, the linking cubes, or counting on the number line. So let's go to the next slide so we can see the problem we are going to be solving. So this problem is on the next slide. Let's read it together. So we saw 10 little leprechauns playing in the forest. When they saw us, seven ran away. How many leprechauns were left? So how many little leprechauns were playing? 10, right? 10. And how many ran away? Seven, perfect. So we wanna know how many leprechauns were left. So we're going to be using a number line, drawing a picture, drawing a 10 frame, 
and using our linking cubes in order to write an equation, write a number sentence. So let's go ahead and do those methods. So in our word problem, it said we had 10 little leprechauns that were playing and seven ran away. How many leprechauns do we have left? So our first method is drawing a picture. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw my picture. So I'm gonna draw my little stick figures, but they're gonna be representing my leprechauns. So I'm gonna draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm gonna double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. So how many leprechauns ran away? Seven. So I'm going to cross out seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I crossed out seven of my little leprechauns and I'm just going to circle the ones that are left. So how many are left? One, two, three. Perfect. So I started off with ten little leprechauns and how many ran away? How many do I have x out? Seven. So since seven ran away, we are taking away, we are subtracting seven. And how many did I have left? Three. So 10 minus seven equals three. So with our picture, we are able to write this number sentence. So what is our other method that we can use to solve our word problem? A 10 frame. So let's draw a 10 frame. Oops. That is not a good temper. Draw yours a little bit better, better than I did. So we have our rectangle and we're gonna draw four lines. And then a line in the middle. So with our 10 frame, you can use anything you have laying around. You can use pennies, we can use macaroni and cheese, beans. I'm just using little pieces of paper. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, because we had ten little leprechauns. And how many ran away? Seven, so I'm gonna take away seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to take these away. So how many do I have left on my 10 frame? One, two, three. Perfect. So we started off with 10. And how many did I take away? Seven. So when I'm taking away something, when I'm subtracting, I need the subtraction sign. So I took off seven. And how many do I have left? Three. Perfect. So we solved the same word problem using our 10 frame. So let's go ahead and do that with our linking cubes. So I have some linking cubes right here. I have 10 of them. So we're going to take off seven because seven leprechauns ran away. That's what we said in these other two drawings. So I'm gonna take off seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Take off seven. Now, how many linking cubes do I have left? One, two, three. Perfect. So, I started off with ten linking cubes and I took away, I subtracted seven. I separated seven and I'm left with three. So, the difference is three. Okay. Now we're going to try our new method, which is a number line. So I'm going to go ahead and move the page a little bit up. 
and we're going to draw a line and we're going to draw a little arrowhead at the top of it like that so how many leprechauns do we have at the beginning 10 so we're going to lay number it one through ten so we're going to make a line and then put one make another line two make another line three and we're going to keep going until we get to the number 10. So 7, 8, 9, 10. Ooh, ooh. Number 10. So we had 10 leprechauns. So I'm just going to underline it. So we had 10 leprechauns. And how many leprechauns ran away? Great job. 7 ran away. So, in our lumber line, remember in the vocabulary, we have to jump backwards, right? Seven ran away, so what are we doing? We are separating, we are subtracting, so we count backwards. So, we're going to start at the number 10, so I'm going to make a dot. And we start at the number 10, so ready? We're going to jump back seven times. So, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. So what number did we land on? Circle that number. And we landed on the number three. So we started at the number 10 and we jumped back seven times. And what number did we land on? Three. Perfect. So we landed on the number three. So, remember, when you're using the number line, you want to make sure that you touch every number. And you're jumping back however many times you need to, and you circle the number you land on. So, 10 minus 7 equals 3. So, these four methods, you can use these four methods to solve that one word problem. So we're going to go back to the last slide and see your assignment for today. So now that you're on the last slide, we're going to see your assignment for today. So on the last slide, you have two worksheets, Pete the Pirate and Field Trip. So what you're going to do is you're going to complete both problems. So you're going to read the problem. And just like we did on the lesson, just like I showed you, you're going to draw a picture, you're going to draw the 10 frame, and then you're going to use the number line to solve the word problem. And once you've drawn those three different methods, once you've used the number line, you've drawn the picture and the 10 frame, you're going to write the equation right here. So you're going to do that for both of them. So you have a subtraction. And then the one right here. So it says equation sum and then equation difference. So once you saw both of these problems in your journal, once you've gotten your journal and you solved and drawn these three methods with the number sentence, you're going to take a picture and upload it to Google Classroom in for your teacher. Okay? You're going to upload it on this assignment. I hope you all enjoyed math today. Bye.